Good very morning to you all. Thursday. Just got off the phone to the landlord. The roofing dicks are coming on Saturday, wouldn't you know? Abigail's birthday, so uh, I'm gonna have to try and arrange somebody to be here and meet him in the morning, and then somebody to come back and secure the building afterwards. And yeah, I'm not really happy about leaving him in here over the weekend. What a bastard of a job, actually, I'm pissed off. Because it's gonna ruin Abby's day. Uh, and I don't really want to leave four lads in here just dropping asbestos all over shit and not getting it all sheeted up because I know they won't. So it is what it is. Um, nothing we can do about it, so there's no point whittling around about it, is there? So this morning I've come in and uh, put pickling paste on yesterday's uh, welding uh, job, which was the six segment cone so I'm just about to wash this off and then I'm gonna go and meet up with Stuart uh, we need to go and grab some bits for Crimbo and I think today's the only day I'm actually gonna get to do it so we're gonna call it uh, a short one today and scoot across to a few shops pick some stuff up don't even know what I'm going for so seems like a bit of a pointless exercise it's going to be one of them days, I can feel it already, I'm all already confused as to what I'm doing. Do you get like that? I'd be interested to know, it always bothers me. I've also ordered the other parts from Tool Station. Everything I need from Tool Station, we're going to pick that up. I do need some 3 quarter or 22 mil pipe to pipe the wastewater back down into the, uh, the soak away. Other than that, uh, I think we're going to be going to be good to go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with it this morning, am I? That's the distraction of what am I going to do on Saturday? You see, completely throws me off. Now let me show you something else while we're on the subject. I'm looking for a solid silicon seal on the top of this tank. So what I've actually done is apply silicon to it. You see that? It's not fully cured, but I've shaped it to make a nice silicon bead all the way around. It seems quite solid. In some places it has fully cured. So we're gonna leave that to dry completely. And then I also experimented over here, which looks like it's failed, by putting silicon U-channel uh, on the lid. But as you can see, that's sort of not worked at all. So that's gonna come off come off neatly as well by the looks of it so that was a failed experiment yesterday but on the plus side it looks like the bead is working at the top of the boil kettle and of course between brew days I can always come back it took me about half an hour to put this on and what is it it's a quid for a tube of silicon these days so that's not bad going is it I think that'll work Yes, because we want to create an airtight seal for the boil kettle to allow the steam condenser to do its job. I don't know if I showed you yesterday the new bits of pipe that we've got coming up in the right angle down the bottom. Then also, one more groovy little thing that I'm going to show you before we start to clean the pickling paste off this six segment cone. We can check these bad boys out. Ta-da! Harrison's Brewery Beanies. Eh? We'll see if we can get some of these um, available for you guys out there to buy. See if I can set up a page somewhere. So they're going to be uh, about eight or nine quid plus shipping. So I'm hoping we can get like a few orders in. We've got t-shirts as well. Don't know how much these are. Harrison's Brewery t-shirts with the name on. So we're going to do some merch, some proper merch, instead of going through a merch store. We're doing it in-house because next door to us we've got a company called Eintree Designs and they print and embroider. Perfect. 
mutually beneficial. They come to our quiz night and drink beer, and we buy their friggin' awesome gear. Sounds like a good deal to me. Anyway, like I said, we'll see if we can set up some type of merch store for you guys. Might not be for Christmas though, it might be the new year. But moving forward, that'll be a good thing. Um, and yeah, well, let's get on with cleaning off this pickling pastage. I think that's as far as we're going to get with this. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm really chuffed with it. It's come out how I wanted. I'm half tempted to hit it with a scotch bright wheel and try and polish it up a little bit. But you know what? If I start doing that, then I'll have to start doing all the rest of the kit. So I think we'll just leave it with this sheen. I mean, it's stainless anyway. It's relatively shiny in its own kind of way. And as long as we keep it clean, it's good enough. It's never going to be polished, polished like you get on these on these ferrules. But uh, I think it's good enough. That'll make a good end to this condenser chimney. Happy with that. Lovely. So I've not really been here more than an hour and it's time to clear off. So that's the plan. I've got myself changed. We'll jump in the car, take Chancy Pants with us. He's here, look. Aren't you, lad? Are you keen to go? Wookies! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll take Chance with us. We'll go and pick Stuart up and hopefully we'll have a couple of hours in town and pick up something like, I don't know, some selection boxes and some perfume. That would be good, won't it? I don't know. Who knows? Bloody Christmas thing. Always struggle. You have to buy presents, don't you? I mean, I'm not really just Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't know. Excuse the pun. Anyway, enough of this waffle. Let's go. With time for it's you, yes, 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 you shine. When it hits you, yes, 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 When it hits you, yes, 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 you shine. When it hits you, yes, 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 you Entertainment in freaking chef oiled. So we're gonna drop the uh, camera bag under the seat so nobody nicks the cannon and then we're gonna go and crab crab. We're gonna crab the tram. We're gonna catch the tram in Sheffield and uh, walk around Sheffield and buy fuck all and then come back. What normally happens. So we've bought lots of junk and lots of 
uh, boring presenty stuff and it got dark and we had a nice pint in the Sam Smith pub called the Brown Bear in Sheffield recommend it to anybody but now we're going to jump in the van and enjoy a boring journey back to Retford we'll see you there Shh. I've snuck up to the bedroom Got the prime horny tackle. Hey, prime horny. Good for you for money. And a bit lush. Abby will love that. Don't tell him. Oh, that smells really nice. Oh, it does smell really nice. We'll see you tomorrow.